As enterprises, businesses continues to expand and scale up, the research and development workload is also growing exponentially. Engineers are spending a lot of time on basic setup preparation instead of focusing on business innovation. To address these issues, Docker, Kubernetes, and serverless emerged, but they also brought about an increase in complexity. Is there any way to make application containerization faster and Kubernetes deployment simpler? How can we break through the barriers to implementing serverless? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, I would like to introduce you the serverless app engine, also known as SAE. The advent of SAE is closely related to the evolution of software development and delivery. Let me take the field of system operation and maintenance as an example. With the advent of cloud computing, most of the IDC, network and kernel operation and maintenance work can be handed over to the cloud. With the addition of some elastic features, we can say that this field has reached a relatively good state where there is a basic infrastructure similar to water, electricity and gas and everyone should try to avoid unnecessary duplication of construction and development. However, in the field of application operations and maintenance, everyone built their own paths using shell scripting, Python, and other different languages, each showing their own strengths to create a path that suited their own company in the early days. However, the common problem with these systems is that they cannot keep up with internal development over time because they are relatively closed and this field is relatively distant from businesses, which makes it difficult to sustain good resource investment. Moreover, from a broader perspective, each company is like building its own wheel with similar core functionalities, including application lifecycle management, observability and tool chains, etc. However, due to small differences in their business, a standard has not yet been formed in this area. So, some open source and standard frameworks emerged later on, such as Docker and Kubernetes trying to standardize it. These open source frameworks did solve a lot of problems, but they also come with some issues such as too much complexity and relatively high cost of learning and operation. As a result, we can see the current situation of application operations and maintenance. Some companies are stuck in the past with self-built systems due to manpower, cost or other reasons, while others are striving to switch to standardized platforms such as Docker Compose, Kubernetes or even Docker. However, this often comes at the cost of high learning and experimentation costs, which in turn affects business innovation. Is there a way to enterprise application operation and maintenance as relatively simple and standardized as system operation and maintenance while also being very easy to use? Precisely, based on this mission, the serverless app engine was created. SAE follows a general understanding of serverless. It shields us so users don't need to maintain the underlying resource such as virtual machines, networks, and storage themselves. At the same time, built on top of us, SAE is based on Kubernetes, which allows users to use most of the open standards of Kubernetes while shielding the complexity of Kubernetes. This means that serverless capabilities are further enhanced, covering from us to the Kubernetes. From a top level perspective, SAE is exposed as an application pass which includes various capabilities such as a rich tool chain for CI, CD, observability related monitoring and alerting, application lifecycle management and microservices suite, among others. Different from the FAST form of serverless, SAE is application centric and provides a UI and API that are oriented towards applications. 
The original intention is to maintain the consistent development and deployment experience that users have on traditional servers, which changing the application programming model and deployment methods. Additionally, SAE also allows for easy local development, debugging, and monitoring. It greatly reduces the barrier of entry for users to adopt serverless and enabling seamless migration of enterprise online applications without any modifications. Through SAE's automatic elastic scaling capability, resource utilization can be greatly improved to increase productivity and lower production costs. SAE provides users with a variety of elastic strategies, including 1. Based on monitoring metrics such as CPU, memory, QPS, RT, TCP, etc. 2. Based on time, allowing users to set up scheduled scaling and instance numbers accordingly. 3. Hybrid elasticity, combining monitoring metrics and scheduled elasticity to meet the complex business scenario requirements. SAE helps users to shield the technical details of Kubernetes and achieve a low threshold containerization of applications, facilitate a seamless adoption of Kubernetes, specifically, one, providing the ability to automatically build images and offering multiple ways to create images, such as WAR, JAR, and PHP zip packages. It lowers the threshold for customers to make Docker images. 2. Users no longer need to worry about complex network and storage plugin compatibility with Kubernetes, nor do they need to be concerned about stability risks brought by Kubernetes version upgrades. 3. Providing end-to-end -end observability with a white screen interface, making it easy for users to troubleshoot problems. In addition, SAE also supports multiple deployment methods such as Jenkins, Maven, Terraform, source code, cloud toolkit plugins, open API, CLI, and container images. It can help you automate the complete DevOps process from code submission to application and task deployment while minimizing changes to your existing work habits. In conclusion, we discussed the closed nature of application paths as well as its open source standards and complexity. We then talked about how serverless addresses some of these complexity issues, which led to the development of SAE. If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud serverless app engine, click in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.